you just got yourself a new macbook air pro or whatever whatever the macbook you got and you're thinking what the hell do i install on this mac after just setting up your macbook well i'm, I'm going to be telling you these are probably my favorite apps that i use on a daily which improves my productivity and lifestyle you'll also get most of the value out your macbook allowing you to increase your productivity by tenfold actually not not by tenfold but i'm saying like 5x depending on what app you use. Covering seven MacBook apps in this video from the get-go, all free, no hidden costs, unlike these other YouTubers that don't mention if it's free or paid until you click on the app. Jumping into the first app, well, hold up, wait a minute. Before we jump into the first app, leave a like, comment below, and subscribe to my channel to not to miss out on future updates on tech-related content. All right, let's get into the first app. Here is Spotlight on steroids basically. The app's name is called Raycast. It's a minimal layout type of app with a ton of customization within the app. I've set a custom bind to it. In my case, it's option and spacebar. You can see there's a ton of features you can just do from this Spotlight bar in a way. For example, you could do conversion rates. So like what is 50 GBP to AED? It shows you right here, right within this, this Spotlight type search also there are a ton of features where you could also so you can do volume set down to 50 as you can see right here also do like pictures so you create image create me a picture of mars take some time to create because i think it's using here you can see using chat for mini api bang there we go right there within the search where you can create images you could also copy it, regenerate it, or delete it. There's also a ton of features like clipboard. So you can type clipboard history. You can see, depending on how many items you've copied previously from different sessions, you can see stored in the clipboard and you can just select one. In this case, copy this, and now it's copied to your clipboard. Also, Features like some quirky features like confetti. You see that? You can also add other extensions to Raycast, which will increase your productivity. Like, as you can see, these are the number of extensions that they have. They have the brew, which is a coding command, video downloader, GitHub, plethora amount of extensions you can just check out and then download. And then this is where you can go to the store and add these extensions to Raycast. But yeah, this is Raycast. This is all-in-one spotlight feature app that is a combination of different types of apps that are out there for Mac in one, basically. I mean, if I had to choose one app that I can use for the rest of my life, it would probably be this app. It's very cost. You ever found it hard to take screenshots or you were confused how you take screenshots on a Mac and you were like, what buttons do I need to press? Because I came originally from a Windows laptop and taking screenshots were a bit easier. I think it was the Windows key and S. With the Mac, I think it's like default is Command Shift 3, but this app allows you to take screenshots with ease just by setting custom key binds. Control and S, section screenshots. And then from that, you can edit the image, add text to it. Hi, this is me. A screenshot, you can also save it to your downloads. You can copy it to your clipboard and then paste it onto a document or any other sort of place where you need to paste images, like ChatGPT. You can also scan QR codes. Code, it will detect that and then open it in a browser. You could also screenshot text and then convert that into raw text. So let me show you. Screenshot that and you can see extracted the raw text from the image. Also, there's a lot of features. You can pin it. So when you're doing like multitask stuff, you can screenshot an image or text and then do your work on one side and then you can set up like this. You can do like, for example, whatever, your coding or some shit. There's so much features you can do within this one app and it's totally free. So you don't need to pay nothing. That's Shotter. Shot? Shotter? Shotter? I don't know how you spell it. It's, it's a shot and TR at the end, pretty much. Okay, let's talk about wallpapers. And you want to spice up your Mac. For example, have a wallpaper every hour, every day, every month. 
Well, Unsplash is the solution for you. They have their own Mac app. So in my case, Unsplash, you can see up here, this is their own Mac app. Let's say you just want to view like a space related wallpaper. You can just change it and set it as wallpaper. You have the option to download it, which is a really good feature as highest quality. And it's totally free. As you can see, if you go into the settings, you can have it update automatically, daily, monthly, weekly, or manually. If you've seen a wallpaper where you're like, shit, I remember that wallpaper yesterday, but I want to download it. You can go to your recents. So where all the wallpaper that's been shown to you are stored. For example, let's have this moon. Simple as that. It's a simple wallpaper app, which is clean. You're getting the highest quality, literally pulled from the Unsplash website and app from Okay, the next app is near drop have you ever ran into an issue where you want to send something from an android phone to your mac and you just don't know how to do it well this app will solve that issue for you it's 100 percent free open source you can start off by downloading it by going to the link in the bio which i've attached once you're there you'll come onto this github page and then you want to download it by clicking this the releases click that delete it as a dot zip unzip it and then install it you've downloaded it you want to open it by searching near drop let's say you want to send this hold on to it so you want to hold on to this click share and then click quick share and the name of the laptop of your laptop should appear here and then accept it on your mac okay it's been sent and you can open the image here the other way around so if you want to send something from your mac to your <laughs> slipped up nearly to your android right click share and then click near drop go to your files click quick share have that open and you see it appear as you see on your laptop click that and then what you need to do is just click accept here and if you're having trouble with near drop there's another option for you called local send go about downloading this on the website local send website oh yeah once you have that downloaded on the mac you have to download it on the device good thing about Local send compared to near drop is you can use local send through a variety of platforms. So you open local send on my device. Let's send as you can see, you want to send something, your device that you want to send it to will appear here. Let's send this to my phone. It's kind of big file. You can see it, that's the name of the device, and then on the computer it says fresh avocado. Click press that, and then you can see it's been sent. And you can see right here, full resolution. No compression, nothing like that on your phone. Both are very useful apps if you want to send large files without any compression. This app is more tailored towards my programmers out there. If you're a programmer, shout out to you. This is the editor I've been using a lot. It's helped me with a lot of code that I feel like I've forgotten. AI agents come into clutch, they help you, they go through your project file suggesting any other changes by you prompting it in the chat feature. So as you can see, I'm gonna pull up my editor right here. You can ask the AI agent to write the code for you or you can have a chat back and forth. And I feel like with Windsurf, the completion and the contact awareness general understanding of the code base is way better than cursor you can select from a variety of models right now they have these current models i'm on the free free tier so the free tier you get 25 credits per month and they get renewed every month so that's equivalent to like 100 4.1 prompts unlimited fast tab so when you tab it gives you a preview of the code that's what fast tab is and with windsurf i built like my whole background removal app with this and it provided me with very good logic efficient ways to code and you could also directly deploy apps from this editor as i mentioned because it gives you one deployment per day but yeah if you want to check out the little side hustle i built using this editor it's a background remover app which I use to edit in my videos. The link will be in the description. Check it out. Have you ever like looked at your wallpaper on your desktop, but then you look to your right and you see these ugly folders and images just taking up that right space? Well, this app will help you solve this. Plus, it has many more features. First of all, the app is called Only Switch. I'll say this is like a control center on steroids. You could hide the app by click of a switch there we go it's gone now you could also disable dark mode enable dark mode you can hide the notch the top 
you can also hide the dock so right now it's always showing but then i like keep on when i never use it it's hidden you can also eject your storage devices just by pressing a click of a button also customize what icons or what features you get to see in this control center you do that by just going to settings first and you can see a lot of shortcuts and show a radio play if you want it to you can show pomodoro timer there if you want to low power mode if you want it to pretty much you can do anything and you can show a variety of shortcuts within the control center nothing more to say and the link to download this will be in the description so i hope you find all this apps that i've recommended in this video useful to you these are all free in the most part if you want to remove for example ads on some of the apps you gotta pay but that's not big of a deal majority of apps are recommended video are free open source and make sure to download my new wallpaper pack which is in the description tell me what you think about it tell me what apps have you been using apart from the ones that i mentioned in this video so people can check them out in the comments and i might even check them out other than that peace